What's up everybody, I Swedish Vars here, so yes, this is some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, uh, it's Domination, Bailout, Ground War, and I actually got this gameplay yesterday, uh, I was bored and I didn't feel like playing Black Ops 2, so I thought, you know what, why not hop on Modern Warfare 2 and see if I can get a nuke, and that's exactly what happened, uh, this was actually my first game of the day, and my first game back on Modern Warfare 2 for like 2 or 3 months or something like that, so it was actually really fun just going into this game and getting a nuke, and you know, there's something about this game that makes it really fun to play, even though that there's a lot of bullshit about it, like the woman army noob tubes, you know, commando knifing, and you know, etc. Right? I'm not gonna go through all the things that are wrong with Modern Warfare 2, because that is gonna be another like 20 minute video, and I don't have time for that, and I don't think you do either. But uh, anyway, in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Modern Warfare 4, Infinity Ward, and Respawn Entertainment and their new game because apparently it has been announced that Respawn Entertainment is going to be at E3 this year and for those of you who don't know what Respawn Entertainment is they are this new company that was made in 2010 and the founders of it is former Infinity Ward employees uh, Jason West and Vince Sampala and they were pretty much the leaders on, uh, on uh, you know Infinity Ward but, uh, you know, when they made Modern Warfare 2, like, during Modern Warfare 2's life cycle, you know, behind the scenes or whatever, there was a lot of drama between Infinity Ward and Activision. You know, Activision, you know, claiming that Infinity Ward was going against the contract, working with uh, other uh, companies such as EA, and Vincent Pella and uh, Jason West and a lot of other people at Infinity Ward were saying that, Activision was going against their contract with, you know, some money stuff, I don't even know. But yeah, it was a lot of drama and eventually Jason West and Vincent Pella were fired from Infinite Ward and they just went somewhere else and took a bunch of Infinite Ward employees with them and started a new company called uh, Respawn Entertainment and that was pretty much the last thing that we heard about them and now they're they are tweeting all these things that they're going to e3 and you know i i'm not even sure if they're gonna show their new game at e3 but i'm assuming that because i think it was winston pella that tweeted that oh we're not gonna show up empty-handed and that is obviously a hint uh, that they're gonna show us the, their new game but uh, anyway, so that's who Respawn Entertainment is. So a lot of people are saying uh, that, oh, you know, this game that they're making is going to be the COD killer, the Call of Duty killer. But, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of people are just assuming that it is a shooter. And, I mean, no one knows what kind of game they're making. I mean, personally, I, I think it's pretty obvious that they're making a shooter. But what if they're not? What if they're making, I don't know, an adventure Skyrim-like game or a car game? I don't know, like, what if? And, you know, I'm not saying that one of those games uh, cannot be a Call of Duty killer because, of course, they can. You know, a car game could be a card killer. However, in my opinion, I consider uh, a card killer uh, a game that is in the same category as Call of Duty, which is a shooter. But um, yeah, you know, a lot of people are going crazy about this, you know, saying that, oh, we're finally going to see the Call of Duty Killer uh, and, you know, all this sort of stuff. And, you know, I shouldn't be too excited because, you know, it's going to take a lot for a game to be uh, considered, a, considered a Call of Duty Killer. I mean, we've seen so many games these past couple of years where people have said that, oh, you know, this is going to be the new Call of Duty Killer. And, you know, it's not. I mean, we saw that with Battlefield 3, Crisis 2, um, or, I mean, Crisis, God, uh, and Crisis 2, I guess. Uh, you know, uh, Metal Final Warfighter, you know, there was a lot of games that people were just assuming that, oh, this is going to be the Call, the call of Duty Killer. Uh, but, you know, it didn't happen, and people are just assuming stuff. Personally, I think that the game that Respawn Entertainment is making, it, you know, it is going to be a good game. But it's not going to be a Call of Duty killer. It's not. It's going to take a lot for it to be a Call of Duty killer. Uh, and I don't think that, you know, it's going to happen, basically. So anyway, these, like, what, like, two minutes that I've left, I'm just going to briefly talk about Modern Warfare 4 and Infinity Ward. Now, 
we don't know who are making Modern Warfare 4, but assuming uh, traditionally it's going back and forward between Infinite Ward and Treyarch, I'm assuming that Infinite Ward is going to be making the next Call of Duty game. However, it has been rumored or also that Neversoft and Sledgehammer Games are working on their separate Call of Duty games. And if you didn't know, Sledgehammer Games were making a Call of Duty game uh, before Modern Warfare 3. However, because of all this that happened at Infinite War, you know, Vincent Pella and Jason West leaving and then a lot of other uh, Infinite War uh, employees leaving, Sledgehammer game, uh, Games had to cancel their their Call of Duty game that they were making in order to go on Modern Warfare 3 and help Infinite War make it. So, you know, th that was all crazy, but uh, as I said, we don't know who are making the next Call of Duty game. Uh, I personally think that it's going to be another mix of Infinite Ward, Sledgehammer Games, Never Soft, and Raven Software, and I don't even know anymore. But yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of developers, uh, including Infinite Ward, working on Modern Warfare 4. And hopefully, the game won't be called Modern Warfare 4 because uh, I, I had enough of the Modern Warfare series. Unless Infinity War and other developers are doing something amazing and actually upgrading their engine because let's face it, Modern Warfare 3 graphics, they were terrible and Black Ops 2 graphics were awesome. So I don't know what the hell went wrong with Modern Warfare 3 but yeah. Anyway, you know, unless Infinity War makes Modern Warfare 3 this new epic game that is just so amazing and I don't know, well balanced and all that with an awesome campaign hopefully a lot like the Black Ops 2 campaign, then I'm probably gonna buy the game. Uh, but, you know, if the game looks a lot like the other Modern Warfare series games or whatever, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy it. It's just, you know, I had enough of the Modern Warfare series and I think a lot of people uh, have enough with that as well. So we are looking at the future with, uh, I don't know, possibly Modern Warfare Ghost Fair. Four. I don't even know. Anyway, that was my little video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please reconnect controller. Yes, I did kind of freak out and accidentally drop my controller at the floor, and that's the reason why it said please reconnect controller. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I talk to you later. Bye.